Hi, I'm Chris Wiegand. And I'm Casey Wiegand. So today we're going to take this two room open floor plan and close it to make two distinct spaces. So come along with us as we tackle this project this weekend on this episode of Weekends with the Wiegands. Since I need an office at home, we decided to convert this dining room into my office. We're gonna use repurposed wood from a salvage yard as our skin for the wall and two by threes as an interior structure. Then we're gonna build a door and hang a track so the door can slide open and closed. After we build the wall, I really wanna come in here and decorate the space. I wanna make it feel really homey. I'd like to have lots of textures and lots of colors, a place where we can have conversations, no distractions, no TV, a space just focused on our family. So I guess we need to just get started. Okay. Say, all right, let's get going. All right, let's get going. All right, so let's get a measurement. Maybe seven feet of wall here, and then it'll be four feet of door. So we'll be filming these episodes by ourselves. So there'll be a lot of passing the camera around and a lot of behind the scenes. All right, so here's all our wood. It's good. All right, so I bought you some gloves okay. and safety glasses. Go put them on over my right. I don't know how you do that, but. <laughs> okay. It's not that stylish. <laughs> I'm sure your glasses will serve as to the glasses. Okay, good. All right, so let me see this. All right, I bought you some gloves. Thanks. All right, so let's make the first cut. You ever used this before? Never. You can teach me. Since this is going to be our base plate, we want the straightest piece as possible. So this is fine. Right, now we're going to cut this to seven and a half feet. I'm going to mark it, and then you're going to cut it. Okay. There you go. Good guy. Okay. I'm using three inch drywall screws for this. We're gonna make sure that we're lined up here. We're gonna do four, because I don't wanna mess up the floor too much. We can sand this down and fill these holes, but if you do too many, you're gonna mess up this hardwood floor. Since we're doing it so that we can actually undo this later on if we want to, if we move out, everything that I do, I wanna be temporary, I wanna be able to undo it. Okay, you wanna help me? Okay, take this, pull it all the way down, and touch it to the top of that piece of wood right there, okay? Are you my helper? Look in the camera and say, you're my helper. I'm gonna help it. This house is gonna be so pretty! What are you doing, Amy? I'm working with Daddy. Come on, guys, I saw a bug. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, measuring how big this is. It was this big. This one's. All right, so we finished up putting up all the two by threes, and now we're gonna go get the shiplap and start cutting it to fit and start working our way up to the top. You just wake up from a nap? Are you ready to help? You help your dad? Can you do work? Yes. Where? and it just got too close, so we're gonna step it out about an inch. All right, so it's been eight hours, and we finally got it finished. So what do you think? I love it so much. It's more than I even could have imagined. I love it. 
Okay, so now that we've got that finished, now we can go ahead and bring back in all our stuff. Start to decorate. This was originally supposed to be for an outdoor space, but we're gonna use it inside. And I love that it's big, so I wanna put some candles on it, some posters, and some big coffee table books. So a lot of times I will look online at expensive stores and I'll find something that I like and I'll get an idea and then we'll try to find it somewhere cheaper, something that looks similar. So Chris texted me, also one time driving home, he went to garage sale. <laughs> You be quiet, you stinky head. <laughs> so Chris also texted me one day. He was um, driving home and he found these chairs. They were four dollars each, and um, they looked very similar to some chairs I found online that I really liked. Another idea that I really loved was um, to make a nice coffee table book of our family photos. Um, this way, if we have guests over or family over, um, they have a way to look at our pictures um, all together in this book. And I just think it's a pretty way to display them rather than just having stacks and stacks of photos or them all getting stuck on your computer. There's a big flea market in Canton, Texas. It's called First Monday. Uh, so we went down there for the weekend as a family and um, I had in my mind this letter. I found it, it was about 20 bucks. Um, so we brought it home and I love adding colors and textures to our home. So um, I grabbed a few really special quilts and hung it on there and we're gonna put it in this corner um, to kind of fill up this space. Mm -hmm. 